My dad was a running back coach at Tampa Bay. Got to see what Doug was all about. What I remember is Doug throwing long passes, and as soon as the ball left his hand, he would start retreating. So if he threw a bomb on the 40-yard line, when the ball was caught, he might be on his own six. And me and my brother Jay thought he had the coolest snap count ever. We still emulate his snap count today. Run, let it fly! Ready! Ready! It's just, it echoed all through Tampa. You could hear him down on the beach. I love watching him play, man. Look at it, Dougie. Relax, Dougie. You saw him coming, didn't you, Dougie? Dougie won four games in 1978 before a broken jaw sidelined him for most of the season. A year later, he helped complete the Tampa turnaround, leading the Bucks to 10 wins and a division title. Doug would find a way. Williams rolls right, he's got some room, gets a good block and in. the same defense that had broken Williams jaw a year earlier knocked him out in the third quarter and the Bucks lost despite being a target off the field and on Williams led the Bucks to the playoffs two more times over the next three years making an impression on the son of running backs coach Jim Gruden his toughest son I've ever seen play he didn't have an all-pro receiving court he didn't have an all-pro offensive line he took a beating, and he never said a word. The play he made against the Chicago Bears that put us in the playoffs in the strike-shortened season is legendary in my family. We win this game, my mom gets a, a porch put on the back of our house. We get a playoff bonus. We lose this game, we get nothing. And uh, we're losing this game, we're getting our butt kicked, and Doug got hit, he got crushed. Williams trying to find a man, it's going to be sacked, he dropped the ball, it's picked up by McMichael. The Chicago Bear, he's running it back for a touchdown. Steve McMichael lumbering downfield, two bucks in pursuit. And Doug Williams chases him down, he pulls his hamstring, tackles him. At the 20, McMichael still going and Williams pulls him down at the 8 yard line. And it really ended up saving the game because they didn't score a touchdown on that possession. But Doug came back, his, I can still see his thigh. He's got about six wraps around that leg. He's limping around and he stung the Bears twice to Jimmy Giles down the middle, screened in porch for the Grudens. Can you believe it? The Cardiac kids have done it again. Holy moly. I would say still today, at 80 years old, my dad would say Doug Williams is his favorite player he ever coached or was around. Williams will throw. Going for six. Touchdown! Kevin House, his first professional touchdown. He's going to keep the ball. Williams down the middle. Complete. Kevin House, who has his first pro touchdown earlier, has a first and goal. Tampa now asserting itself and coming back. Williams wide open. Jimmy Giles, touchdown. No one from Pittsburgh within 15 yards of Giles. He has one of the quickest release going for a quarterback. He really snaps that ball out there. When he draws it back, it's already leaving. Williams to the air. Gets the pass away. Long out there. Hot house. He'll go in. Touchdown. The Buccaneers of Tampa Bay inaugurated the 1981 season against Minnesota. Quarterback Doug Williams gave his mates a lead that they never lost when he launched a 55-yard bomb to Kevin House, number 89. In passing over the Vikings, Williams merely looked strong. In running through them, he looked downright invincible. Only two quarterbacks threw fewer interceptions and were sacked less 
than this resourceful field general. Powered by his finest statistical season, Williams confidently steered the Buccaneers. With over 65,000 Buccaneer fans dressed in team colors watched rookie quarterback Doug Williams, number 12, launch a few bombs into the Minnesota Vikings secondary. Morris Owens juggle and run gave Tampa Bay high hopes for a second upset victory over Minnesota in only three weeks. His uh, lack of ability was on swing passes out of the backfield or short passes in the middle because that takes a touch. And if you haven't done it, you just aren't going to go in and start doing that. And it took him some time to do that. When he says, well, he didn't hit his running backs, we haven't had any great receivers come out of the backfield. We now have excellent receivers come out of the backfield. not have great outside people like House and, and Bell now and Gordon Jones and backs him up. Uh, therefore, he wasn't throwing to the very best quality downfield. Over the middle, complete. Mike Schumann to the Pittsburgh 47. What a throw by Williams. 17 yards completion by Williams. Dick, after he threw that ball, he started backing up, and he must have backed up for 20 yards. He was so tickled by this throw. Again, the power right there. He guns that ball. Beautiful strike, perfectly, and well caught by Schumann. What a throw by Williams Eckwood with a first down at the 28-yard line. Williams down the middle for Giles. Touchdown at the 23. 253 left in the third quarter. Williams. Great catch by Jordan Jones. Oh, that ball rifled and Jones. It came in there like a BB. Watch it yourself. And he's going to throw right into your living room. Zip. A very impressive drive by the Bucks, who have not only run effectively on this drive, but certainly have gotten the most out of the passing of Doug Williams. Swing it to Ricky Bell for a touchdown. Third and three. What a catch by Kevin House. The 39. Complete to Giles. Williams and House scramble. He's got one. quarterback and rushing in the NFC he has 183 yards coming into this game everyone knows about the great arm that he has but he's a tremendous athlete and he can run from the eye short drop oh, oh my touchdown. Kevin House and it's Theo Bell and he will score well as we look from ground level you'll see Theo Bell catch this ball we call this just a hitch pass and what Theo does is he moves to the football. Alan Ellis has, his, has a beat on him, but he misses the tackle, and now it's just a foot race, and there's no catching number 83, Theo Bell. Williams, short drive, fires one out to Bell. He's got to get to one midfield. He may go to the 40. He's 40. They'll never catch him. It'll be a touchdown, Buccaneers, Theo Bell. Buccaneers at their 38-yard line. They need a yard for the first down. Williams throws a ball, and he's got a man wide open. That is Kevin Hunt. And House will go all the way for a touchdown. Kevin House is the big play specialist of the Tampa Bay Bucks. And how did he get so wide open? Well, you know, he was all he's the big play man here, and Doug is finding time. He's waiting. And this is a problem when you're in a man-to-man defense. Tony Peters went for the interception and missed it, and no one is going to catch Kevin House. 62 yards for Kevin House. While he hit only four of 16 attempts, those four were all he needed to engineer a convincing 31-16 victory. Tampa Bay's win demonstrated that in 1979 Central Division race, youth will have to be served. Doug Williams is not a believer in ball control. To be sure, he is not a disciple of the old doctrine that dictates that a good quarterback takes what the defense gives you. Williams loves to throw the bomb. 
after three full quarters, he was being rudely treated by Atlanta's pass rushers. Finally, with about 10 minutes left in the game, Williams swung for the fences, and in one mighty moment, he cleared the bases. Number 89, Kevin House, is one of the fastest receivers in the entire NFL. He averages nearly 20 yards a catch, and the old fly pattern is his first love. This one went coast to coast, 71 yards, simply too much for rookie Bobby Butler, number 23, to contend with. House is certain to go over the 1,000-yard mark in receiving yardage this season, but this catch by far has been his most important of the season. Judging by the end zone party, you'd think his teammates thought it was a pretty dandy catch, too. Buccaneers trying to win their eighth game of the year and take over sole possession in the NFC Central. Williams back to pass. Sets it up. He's going long. Kevin House is out there. He's got it. 44. He's going. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Number 89. Kevin House. All season long, House left the league's finest cornerbacks in his wake, rolling up a club record 1,176 yards and nine touchdowns. Three times, House touchdowns covered 70 yards or more, and four other receptions spanned over 50 yards. Tampa Bay, on the other hand, hoped to protect their long ball thrower, Doug Williams, just long enough to do what he does best. An 84-yard strike to Kevin House. Williams will try to pass on first down. Let's one fly. Long, he's got House open. He's got it. 40, 30, they'll never catch him. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Williams to House was good for a club record 84 yards. In just a few seasons, Doug Williams had become the face of the franchise. But that didn't sit well with everybody, including some in the highest reaches of the organization. stood with pro football's greatest quarterbacks, and his courage and determination have earned league-wide admiration. Doug Williams is going to be one of the great quarterbacks in the game. I know that he is a very uh, tough competitor. Mm -hmm.